Hi, my name is Gustav Kappert, um, and I'm demonstrating the um, uh, crossword generating uh, assignment for CS50 AI. I really like this assignment, which basically takes a, a structure, um, which is just like a simple crossword and a set of words, and um, our goal is to write the algorithm that will um, fit words into that, generate a crossword that satisfies all the constraints of a typical crossword. So here's one I made using just like my own dictionary of quarantine, um, COVID-19 quarantine words, um, a lot of in-jokes in there. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate the functionality of the program. Um, so if you generate that py, um, so the generate takes a structure data dot structure dot zero dot txt data words zero dot txt okay so it creates a dictionary with or a, a crossword with this like really small dictionary and really simple structure um, there's literally only one you can create and then if I do it with structure one and words one it's going to create I'll just run it until it so it's it, it can create a couple different crosswords it could use like network or resolve but basically there's there's as far as I can tell really only two solutions um, and then if I do the same thing with um, the bigger dictionary and the slightly more complex structure um, you get another you know a sort of array of um, of different answers I mean I could keep running this for years and it would keep spitting out different answers uh, maybe not years um, so I'm not sure how big the solution set is there. And if I do the same thing with the first structure, it's going to do the same thing. I mean, it's going to like plug in different words and, you know, eventually, I don't know how many words there are that like are long, as long as considerable in that dictionary, but maybe it would come up with something else. I don't know. Um, anyway, so um, that sort of demonstrates that the program works as intended. Um, I also just wanted to like really quick, um, go over a couple of things that I like experimented with and added um, to this, or um, maybe not added, but experimented with. Um, so I like I created my own structure, which is a little more complex, and I actually wrote a function, um, helper.py, um, data structure.txt, structure3.txt, data structure words. Ugh. Sorry, I can just replace this. Um, Helper.py. So just spits out a little bit of data, and I think that the thing that makes this problem interesting, this constraint satisfaction problem interesting, um, is that you know for a really small and uncomplicated structure where you don't have that many overlaps, the number of overlaps for variable is really tiny. It's like you know two on average. Um, and if you look at this, you know, you can kind of see like, oh yeah, like um, this variable overlaps twice and this variable overlaps once and this variable overlaps three times. I don't know. So you get like few overlaps. So the, the more overlaps per variable um, and the more words in the dictionary, the more difficult this is going to be to, to solve. Um, so if I do the same thing for the second structure, it's actually um, by this measure equally complex. Um, and if I do the same thing for the structure I created, um, it's like twice as complex. And if I do the same thing for another structure I created, which is just like four blank lines, um, there's just a ton of overlap in there. Um, so I think that I, you know, if I ran this um, structure four with words two um, and try to generate a crossword, you know, it might get there, but it's going to take a, a really long time. Um, and you know, I, I, one of the things I really enjoyed about this problem is it's kind of exploring the the limits of these algorithms, um, and um, I don't know. Also, just like emphasizing the importance of heuristics um, that can speed up the performance of the algorithm. I'll probably come back to this and try to make it faster. And of course, this is still working. Um, thanks so much, I'm Gustav Kappert, and this was crossword.